Hello and welcome back to another story time. So, are you celebrating National Space Day? Or are you obsessed with staring up at the stars? Well, come with me. Today we're going on a trip, but it's quite far away, so hold on tight. A Space Adventure by Lydia Shaw One day, a group of friends, Emma, Jack and Mia, decided to embark on a journey through the solar system. They were all very excited, as they had never been on such an adventure before. They began their journey by first visiting the Sun, the biggest and brightest star in the solar system. It was so hot that they could feel the heat even from far away. They were amazed by the sun's power and size. Next, they travelled to Mercury, the smallest planet in the solar system. It was hot on Mercury, with no atmosphere to protect them from the sun's rays. The friends saw rocky cliffs and mountains all around them, and they marvelled at the planet's unique landscape. After Mercury, the friends visited Venus, the hottest planet of all. They saw thick clouds all around them and they knew that it was hot and humid beneath the clouds. Despite the heat, they were determined to explore the planet. Next, the friends visited Earth, where they saw all kinds of interesting animals and plants. They even got to visit the moon, which orbits around Earth. They saw craters and mountains and felt a sense of wonder at the beauty of their planet. As they continued their journey, the friends travelled to Mars, the red planet. They saw its rocky terrain and giant volcanoes and they were amazed at the planet's red hue. They also visited Jupiter the largest planet in the solar system and saw its colourful stripes and giant moons. Finally, the friends travelled to Saturn with its beautiful rings made of ice and rocks. And to Uranus and Neptune, the two cold blue gas giants. They saw swirling clouds and felt the chill of the planet's icy temperatures. As they were about to return home, the friends suddenly felt a strange, magical feeling. They looked around and saw that everything near them had started to glow. They realised that they had been granted special powers by the magic of the solar system. Emma found that she could fly and she soared weightlessly through the air. Jack could create rain, lightning and wind at will. Mia discovered she could teleport around the solar system. The friends were amazed by their new powers and had lots of fun using them to explore distant parts of space. Finally, it was time to return home but they knew that they would always treasure their memories of this magical journey around the planets and stars. Did you have fun, children? And which was your favourite planet? Can you remember all their names? I hope you get to see these planets close up one day. And I'll see you next time for another story time. Take care. Bye-bye.